Hello YouTube, welcome to Bill's Moto. Today I'm going to start my first review video, the most awaited brand in Sri Lanka, the KTM. So I'm going to start with the KTM's entry level motorcycle, the Duke 200. <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The Duke 200 is a lightweight motorcycle with a single cylinder fuel injected water cooled engine associated with the tubular trellis frame which is a pretty powerful bike. This bike has a 199cc engine, dual overhead cams coupled with 4 valves and single spark plug with 6 speed gearbox and produces up to 26 horsepower. This bike has a 12 volt halogen headlight bulb. And it has got a fuel tank of 11 liters and there is no reserve since it uses the fuel injection system and gives a mileage of around 35 km per liter. The dashboard of the Duke has got a multifunction cockpit which gives you the information like speedometer, tachometer, two trip meters, odometer, time, fuel meter, gear indicator, oil indicator, battery indicator, average fuel efficiency, kilometers to empty, and the side stand indicators, temperature meter, and many more stuff. This bike comes with the uh, online technology and it has the illumination switches which are easier to operate even in the dark. The special thing about this suspension is it has got a WP upside down fork in the front and it is 43mm diameter. The front brake is a 320mm disc with 4 piston caliper which is a fixed caliper. And the bike comes with the MRF tire of 110 over 70 and the rim sizes are 17 inches and both the rims are orange. The chassis of the bike is made of uh, powder coated steel tubes. It has fixed into a tubular space frame. And the exhaust is an underbelly exhaust which is positioned in the middle and which improves the handling of the bike. In the rear it has a WP monoshock suspension which is incorporated with the alloy spring arm which is lightweight. The rear brake is a 230mm disc with single piston floating caliper. The rear tire is a MRF 150 over 60 tubeless tire. The full specs are slightly rear set in which it gives you a sporty seating position and good in cornering. Now let's start the engine and check uh, what the exhaust not says and let the machine roar a bit. The exhaust pipe of the bike looks really cool and it is made of titanium and it is heat proof.
the lights in the bike are very bright and especially the LED signal lights and the LED brake lights are awesome in the dark and even in the sun. So here's my review video of the KTM G200 and if you want me to do any other bike review videos what you wish please let me know in the comment box I will be glad and thank you for watching please like my video and subscribe to my channel